Libretto. The new innovative ceiling system from USG will certainly make a statement in any environment. The flexibility of design, combined with aesthetic lighting, adds a dramatic dimension to any area. One of the best features of Libretto is the extreme ease of installation, made possible through CAD CAM, computer-aided design, and manufacturing. Metal arts and ideas now become reality with standard lead times. CAD drawings become CAM components. And just as easily as design drawings are manufactured into components, each design generates a specific set of installation instructions specific to the design. The instructions and shop drawings or installation plans will always be in the box marked Open First. Libretto will always come in at least two boxes. Depending on the complexity of the design, more boxes may be required. When beginning a Libretto installation, it's important that you read the installation instructions and the installation plans to the design that you will be installing. Read both these documents carefully before beginning. That way, you will have a good sense of what the final installation should look like when completed. And it's important to note that some parts can be permanently damaged if not installed correctly. The parts that will come in your boxes are the carrier channels, the channel splice extensions, panel hangers, the panels, profile attachment clips, the profile splices, perimeter profile with pre-mitered corners, straight perimeter profile, and the custom curved perimeter profile. In addition to the material supplied, you will need an adequate supply of hanger wire and hardware as specified on the instructional plans and an adequate supply of self-drill sheet metal screws. Number eight, half inch pan head recommended. It's important to remember a custom engineered installation plan is supplied with each libretto project. The plans include important diagrams and dimensions you will need for a successful installation. Review the bill of materials section of the plan to confirm that all parts are present and undamaged. In addition to standard suspended ceiling installation tools, you will need a few spring clamps and a laser plumb bob. Now, Turn to the section in the installation plans titled Suspension Plan. The baselines, reference points, and a grid pattern have been overlaid on these drawings to assist in the assembly process. Compare these to the architect's plan and identify the locations of these baselines on the job site. Before beginning, clear the floor of any debris or obstacles. Find or mark the baseline on the floor to use as a reference during installation. Measure 90 degrees from the baselines to locate the endpoints of all the carrier channels. Now, mark these endpoints on the floor. Lay out all the carrier channel sections on the floor end to end as indicated on the suspension plan. The part ID codes are labeled on the ends of the channel section and are keyed to the suspension plan. Prepare channel splices as needed by snipping the ears off of the channel splice extensions. After the channels are assembled, you need to spot the placement of the hanger wires, which are required at least every 4 feet along the channel and 8 to 12 inches from the end of each channel. With a laser plumb bob, trace along the length of the channels to spot the convenient hanger points overhead. Now, mark these points on the floor and on the channel. Remember, some site conditions including ductwork and other obstructions in the ceiling may require you to improvise a bit to get sufficient hangers in place. Disassemble the channels and move them aside for later use. Now, using the plumb bob again, transfer the hanger location marks to the ceiling and attach the hanger wires. Using a laser level, bend all the hanger wires two and one half inches above the finished ceiling elevation. This establishes the proper elevation for the carrier channels. Now you are ready to install the carrier channel. Inspect and examine the finished suspension system. Extra care at this point will increase the speed and accuracy of the installation. Check to see that all hanger wires are taut, straight, and plumb within one in six ratio, or about 10 degrees. If any wires need to be moved or adjusted, fix them now. Check the endpoint positions with a laser plumb bob. 
the endpoints of the carrier assemblies must be within two inches of the plan. If adjustments are needed, make them now. Check the elevations of all the channels. Now, make all final adjustments. Now you're ready to install the panels. Refer to the installation plan. In the section entitled Panel Plan, you'll find a step-by-step -step guide. Once again, check the part ID code making sure that all the numbers correspond. The first panel will be marked S1. To begin a panel installation, mark a line on the floor reflecting the edge and the corners of the start panel. The exact dimensions are provided on the panel plan. Apply channel splice extensions at the end of the carrier channels. Temporarily secure them with spring clamps. The lower hook on the channel extension should be just inside of the marked line. Use the laser plumb bob to gauge its position. Extend or retract the part to the approximate location. Exact location will be adjusted later. Hook the panel hanger clip on each carrier channel at the approximate locations where the panels will intersect. The panel hanger clip has a security tab to keep it from dislodging. Bend the security tab upward to trap the clip on the channel. Suspend the start panel from the channel extensions and the hanger clips. With a laser plumb bob, adjust the locations of the panel corners by shifting the panel and adjusting the telescoping channel extensions. The locations of the panel corners need to be within one quarter inch of the plan. Accurate positioning of the start panel will prevent troublesome misalignments in later steps. Fasten the channel extension in place with two self-drill screws and remove the temporary clamps. Install a self-drill screw into the hole provided in the lower ear of the channel extension to lock the panel and prevent it from dislodging. Bend the unused upper ears of the channel extensions back and out of the way. Libretto panels require a progressive installation. Field panels are marked F1, F2, F3, and so on. This is the order in which they must be installed. Install additional panel hanger clips to each carrier channel at the approximate locations where panel edges intersect. Hook the outside edge of the new panel over the vertical leg of the previous panel and the opposite edge on the hanger clips. Trap the nested panel edges by bending the panel locking tab on the hanger clips. Check the end-to-end -end alignment of adjacent panels, then bend the panel alignment tab to lock the panels in place. Repeat this process for the remaining field panels. The end panel is labeled E1. Installation of end panels is similar to the start panel. Apply the channel extensions to the ends of the channels and temporarily secure them with spring clamps. Install the end panels. Adjust the telescoping channel extensions to catch the edge of the panel. Fasten the channel extension in place with two self-drill screws and remove the temporary clamps. Install a locking screw into the channel extensions to prevent the panel from dislodging. Bend the unused upper ears of the channel extensions back and out of the way. Now you can begin installing the perimeter profile. Profile attachment clips should be spaced 18 to 36 inches apart. Slip the saddle of the clip onto the panel and push it back as far as it will go so the lower flange overlaps the face of the panel. Pivot the clip for proper alignment. Apply a self-drill screw in any one of the holes provided in the saddle. Apply trim attachment clips along the edges of the start and end panels. Pivot the clip saddle 90 degrees and slip the saddle over the edge of the panel. Apply a clip within one foot from each corner and additional clips in between as necessary. Apply self-drill screws to secure all clips in place. Turn to the section in the installation plans entitled Profile Plan. Part ID codes are labeled on the insides of all parts and are keyed to the trim plan. Libretto Perimeter Profile requires progressive installation. The last pieces are designed to be cut to fit so it is important to install them in the proper sequence. Apply perimeter profile to the ends of the island. Connect the straight profile and corners with splice clips. Center the assembly over the end of the island and snap it over the profile attachment clips. Repeat this process at the opposite end.
Apply perimeter profile to the sides of the island. Beginning at the start panel, apply profile pieces and splices in progression working towards the end of the panel. Measure and cut the last piece of profile to fit. Repeat this process on the opposite side. Check and adjust the alignment of all components. If necessary, clean exposed surfaces as required. Parts may be wiped down with a mild household cleaner to remove fingerprints or dirt. Now, the best part. Stand back and take a look at your libretto installation. This simple space has been transformed into a contemporary room setting. And with step-by-step -step instructions from USG Corporation, you can be sure that it meets the designer's specifications. Another job done perfectly with help from USG.